Anonymous Watch Guy here with a full review video. Quick wrist check. Wearing the Zen 104. Beautiful white dial Zen 104. One of my very favorite watches. Today we are taking a look at a watch that I picked up about a week ago from Joma Shop. It's from a brand that I have virtually no experience with. Never even handled one. Uh, and it is Raymond Weil. Raymond Weil is a newer Swiss brand. They make some pretty cool watches. Uh, I saw this one on Joma Shop, decided to pick it up because, again, just had not handled the brand, heard good things about them, like some other watches, this one being a quartz watch. It was very affordable, so I decided to check it out. Now, full retail price on this watch is over $1,200 U.S. dollars. You would never pay that for this watch. I picked it up on Joma Shop for $315, which I think is a pretty good price for this watch. Uh, it is the Tango. It is a, I would call it a dive style watch as it is, it does not have a rotating bezel and it has a butterfly clasp, but it has the look of a diver and the 300 meters water resistance of a diver. Uh, just not some of the things it would need to be a full on diver. But let's take a look at the watch. It is a 41 millimeter watch. I measured it just under 41 millimeters, like 40.7 uh, diagonal across the watch here. It is a 20 millimeter lug opening. The lug to lug is actually about 45 and a half, uh, but it does have male end links that stick out pretty significantly farther than the actual lugs. And the full measurement here from end to end of the end links is 50 and a half millimeters. It is just 10 millimeters thick being that it is a quartz watch. So that cuts down on the thickness there. You get 300 meters of water resistance and only 10 millimeters thick, so that's really nice. Screw down crown there with the Raymond Weil branding at the three o'clock position. And again, it is uh, 300 meters water resistance. You do have a sapphire crystal uh, that I can't really tell if it has any anti-reflective treatment on it, but it is a sapphire crystal. Gives you a nice shot of that kind of vertical pattern uh, on the dial there. Uh, again, it is a quartz movement, but I'm not 100% sure what quartz movement it is. It is a Swiss quartz movement, uh, but there's not really any details on either Joma Shop where I bought the watch or on Raymond Wiles' website either. One thing I did notice is, though, that it comes pretty darn close uh, looking at it to hitting the marks maybe off just a smidge but i always like to look at a better quartz movement if it can hit those marks i know that drives some people crazy when it misses by a mile this one's it's pretty close it's not 100 percent on the money but it's pretty close uh, you do have your raymond weil and geneve printed on there beneath the 12 o'clock position you've got your water resistance 300 meters a thousand feet above the six o'clock Swiss made down there at the six o'clock position and your date window over there at the three o'clock. You've got a high polished stick style handset and you've got your bright red seconds hand. Uh, you've got a kind of a vertical textured pattern across that black dial. Uh, I think the overall look of the watch is interesting. I like the dial layout. Uh, it's very legible, easy to read. Uh, I like the uh, the vertical pattern on the dial. I think overall it is a very nice looking watch. Uh, it is a stainless steel fixed bezel. It does have rider, what looks kind of like rider tabs. You think you should be able to grab this and turn it, but it then again, it is a fixed bezel. The bezel does not rotate. It is 316L stainless steel. A lot of it is done in a high polish finish. So you've got high polish on the sides of the case. You've got some high polish there on the top of the lugs as well. Got a, a little bit of a bevel there uh, to uh, distinguish the side of the case and the top of the case. You do have some brushing on the bezel uh, along with some high polish to show some kind of a mix and finishes there. Uh, but overall, a fairly nicely finished watch for the price point. 
Uh, I do like this bracelet. Uh, it articulates very well. Uh, it's a very comfortable bracelet. It is sized with screws. So that is nice. It is sized, sized with screws. You do have some brushed and polished uh, sections of the bracelet. Very comfortable bracelet. Wears very well. I was able to get a pretty good size on it as well. You do have your Raymond Wild branding there. Uh, and this is one of those where you have to close one side of the butterfly clasp before the other side as that fits into one another there. Uh, you've got your just a standard screw down stainless steel case back there with the Raymond Wild logo and some specs running around the back. Uh, but overall, a very solid feeling watch. A very well-made watch. Definitely impressed with the build quality of the watch. Uh, for the price that I paid for it, I think it is an absolutely killer deal. Uh, definitely would recommend checking this brand out. Uh, I know they make some, some dressier pieces. They make uh, some interesting looking watches. And that, after my experience with this one, I would definitely uh, be willing to check another one out. I think it's a nice looking watch. I think it's a well-made watch. And uh, for the price that I got it for, I think it's a really good deal. Uh, let's check out the loom on the watch, and then we'll take a look at what it looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist. Here is the loom. You can see you've got a nice solid green glow. Don't know if it's C3 or not, uh, but a solid green glow. Each of your indices glows nicely. The handset glows nicely as well. Pretty solid job on the loom from Raymond Weil on this one. Uh, definitely uh, doesn't disappoint. No loom on the bezel, but again, it's not really a dive watch, so uh, it gives you that look, but it's not really. But the loom on the indices on the hands is pretty strong. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it wears very nicely. Uh, definitely like that pop of red from the seconds hand. It's really visible against that black dial. I think it looks really good. Watch where it's very comfortable. You can see at 41, you can see it that where the lugs cut off there at that 45 millimeter mark. It makes it look kind of small, but it wears a little larger because of those male end links on the bracelet. Still plenty of room uh, for a smaller wrist than mine. Very nice bracelet though, wears very comfortably. Solid light play, looks good on wrist. Definitely a fan of this watch. I think it's worth maybe checking out some other pieces from the brand. An affordable quartz uh, dive style watch. If you're looking for something like this, I'll leave a link in the description to Joma Shop where you can maybe pick this one up. The Raymond Wild Tango. If you liked the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.